So one of the cool things when you go to the gas stations is they have this fake Starbucks called Cafe Amazon and every Amazon has a water feature and this is the second or third one I've seen where they have these pools with these giant koi in them and it's just really cool to see. It's way better than Starbucks in the U.S. if you can sit and enjoy a water feature and some big fat koi. It gets so hot I wish I could just do a cannonball under here. side of this mountain. So a long time ago, well, within, you know, a hundred years, people of this village found a bomb from World War II and they didn't really know what it was, so it became something special and they make like a festival for it. So just a little something interesting, something different, and a bomb hanging out in a temple. Didn't know I'd ever see that.
Alright, so earlier at that temple, uh, we stopped and the guy had, just like the other temples, had elongated tortoises. Uh, there was a snail-eating turtle, and uh, one of the monks that came out was actually a really cool guy. That guy was awesome. He actually sat and asked a lot of questions, and I was kind of able to help him out with some of the questions he had about how to take care of the snail-eating turtle, um, how much water it needs, what it needs to eat, uh, what the other tortoises need. Um, and it was just cool like to sit there and even though it was having to all step in an ant, um, even though it was all having to be translated, um, it was really like open and, on, and, and open to, you know, all the ideas and everything that I had to improve, improve what was going on with those uh, turtles at that particular uh, temple. So that was really cool. Um, everybody was kind of talking and doing a lot of stuff at the time. So I didn't get a chance until now to kind of record me talking about this. So. Um, really cool. That dude was awesome. That really, really, really cool. I'm glad to see that there's people that do care and are um, open to learning about this stuff. Saw this from the road. It's these really cool bunch of rocks. Looking. I like these plants. Like these things just look so sick. Some of these rocks are just massive. Step over that thing. Definitely feel like they should be snakes and lizards around here, but I don't see any. I think it has to do with the dry season. So right now what I'm doing is I'm riding this scooter around through these rice fields just on these like long kind of narrow little trails. It's so fun. Um, you can just kind of go winding through there, kind of do whatever you want. Uh, it's kind of like Disneyland if you're a dork like me. But the other thing I'm doing is I'm looking in these kind of like watery habitats and trying to pick where I'm going to come later tonight and kind of shine some lights, look for some, you know, some frogs, some snakes, you know, whatever might be moving around. These are like awesome little habitats and it's so hot and dry during the day that nothing's coming out during the day. So uh, I'm gonna kind of ride around like a jackass and scout it right now and then we'll see what comes out. First find of the night, two of these toads. Pretty good size, bigger than our American toads. Uh, yeah. Smallest frog I've ever seen. Look at that. Back you go. Look, there's another one. See? It grabs. Yep. <laughs> Got a crab. There you go. <laughs> That's cool. More crabs. <laughs> well, I got my first snake of the night, but it is not alive. Uh, looks like a, uh, some kind of a keelback, if I had to guess. Based on the pattern, checkered pattern, they're basically like a water snake back in the US. Um, and it looks like this guy was out here moving around and somebody came down this road smashed him so kind of sad kind of a bummer because it's a cool snake uh, but we're gonna keep looking it's another frog I don't know what kind it is but these guys are really abundant hopping around in the grass they're really fast one thing I noticed is everything here is real fast so I just want to get some shots of them kind of like little voucher look at those big black eyes like an alien 
All right, we're gonna let him go. Thank you.